Before you tell me about your second wife, I want to know about something else. Why were you at Andy's the night I fell down and hit my head? That's it! I've had it! I am sick to death of this! Yes! I was at Andy's that night for one minute. I'd gone out to get some groceries, and I thought I'd come back and uh, drop some business papers off. Reese Walker was there. And I knew he had just separated from his wife. I felt like I was intruding on some sort of fling they were having, and I was embarrassed as hell. I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. I didn't mention it to you, because I didn't think it was polite to gossip about our employees and what they were doing with their spare time, and with whom? Calm down, please. I am so sorry. I apologize. I would have handled it, Ken, exactly the way you handled it. I had no idea. I will not mention it again. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. And now I have to answer another question, right? Yes, because, because it's important to me. You told me you were married. You told me there was a woman in Texas and she had died. Why didn't you tell me about another? I didn't tell you because my first wife was my high school sweetheart. Her name was Valerie. We met when we were 15. We got married when we were 19. Henry Longfellow said that there is nothing holier in this life of ours than the first consciousness of love that described Valerie and me. We were blissfully in love. I love you very deeply, but I don't think that I will ever love that passionately again. After about two years, of marriage, she was hospitalized with a, a rare blood disorder, followed by two years of specialist treatments, operations, more specialist. And it looked like she was getting better. And then she died. It almost destroyed me. I was wiped out. And the loss was so great, I never spoke to anyone about it. So sorry. Baby, I'm so sorry Kelly had to bring that up and make you talk about it. I don't blame Kelly. I don't think that Kelly would be as paranoid as Cece hadn't stepped in. Cece has turned your entire family against me. You are the most beautiful, sensitive, wonderful man that I have ever met. And I promise you this, that not Cece, nor my daughter, nor anyone will come between us. Ken. What? My head is just... It's just Sweetheart. killing me. Is there any... Could, could I have one of those pills, do you think? Are you sure? Oh, yes. I... Please. All right. Just one. Just some... Thank you. 